So we know that roots are to anchor plants to the soil and to take up nutrients. But how do they actually know where to grow? Let's talk about that. How are all of you wonderful people doing today? My name is Levi Peters and this is Levi Explains on MI Gardener. I think most of us would just assume that the roots on the plants know where to go. But plants don't have brains like us. They don't go, hmm, I will grow this way with my roots because of logic. No, they don't do that, okay? So how do they know where to grow? So there's fuzzy hairs on roots that actually elongate when the soil is clear and there's nothing in their path. So roots grow, imagine, kind of like groping around in the dark and going like, uh, uh, Oh, there's something there. Oh, oh, I didn't touch the lens. Oh, you know, you know, they, that's how they actually grow. So if a root hits something like a rock or something that it can't penetrate, then it has to go around it. But how does it know to go around it? That's another question we have to answer. But don't worry, I got you. They do it with the help of RHD2. R2D2, where are you? RHD2. Should be easy to remember. This is actually a protein found at the tip of the root hairs. It's like a trap for me to roll my arms. It produces radicals that stimulates the uptake of calcium from the soil. And the calcium, in turn, stimulates the activity of RHD2, thus keeping the cycle going and going and going. So when the roots are stopped by an object such as a rock in the soil, the cycle stops because the hairs can't take up any more calcium. So the only option for the root to do is to grow in somewhere else, change directions. Kind of like getting blocked and then just kind of uh, 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 like that. And so there you go. That's why roots know where to grow. It's pretty interesting, okay? Because it's just one of those things that you take for granted, you never think about, and then you're like, oh, how does that grow? Hmm, and then it ends up being super, super interesting. That's what's cool. Even the littlest things that you think, you know, wouldn't be interesting are interesting. And you know what the great thing about this is? It adds more things to talk about when a conversation goes dull. <laughs> if you can bring this up in a way that's smooth, it might work out pretty well for you. But before I leave, I want to know in the comment section down below, did you know this about roots at all? I had no clue until I researched it. And I think it's pretty, pretty friggin' cool. And with that being said, I'll see you all very soon. Peace. Always repeating. But I want to know before I leave, but I want to know, but I want to know, but I want to know. I can't get it out. I can't get it out. Normal conversation. I can get out. But this, no.